Davao de Oro. Good day, students. Welcome to another exciting learning here in TV Escuela. I am your teacher, R.G. Joy Marie Henelsa Ampol of Gabi National High School, Compostela West District, for the subject Practical Research 2. Let us all discover the world of research. There are so many things we wanted to know about this world and beyond. Our quest for knowledge, answers, and explanation of people, things, events, and so on seems incomprehensible until we are engaged in the research. Before we start the lesson, please get yourself learning module for quarter 3, module 2 your pen and paper. Are you ready? Let's begin! Yay! You have learned from Module 1 that quantitative research is very useful in all fields of study because of its objectivity and fast data collection and analysis. In this lesson, you will expand your understanding of the characteristics and different applications of quantitative research and be able to design a study useful in daily life. The following are the most essential learning competencies that you need to learn for today's lesson. Design a quantitative research useful in daily life. Write quantitative research title, describe background of research, and state research questions. After learning the different concepts of quantitative research, you are now ready to design your own quantitative research project. But first, let us answer the activity to check your prior knowledge. Instructions. In your study notebook, choose and write the letter of the correct answer. Number one, which of the following is a characteristic of a good research title? Again, which of the following is a characteristic of a good research title? A, a short but accurate description of the content of the study. B, Use abbreviations to shorten the number of the study. C. All beginning questions can be broadened to make a study more significant. D. Preliminary research helps trim down a broad topic to a more manageable question. Is your answer letter A? You got it right! A short but accurate description of the content of the study. Number 2. Which of the following is the most reliable source of research topic idea? Again, which of the following is the most reliable source of research topic idea? A. Review of literature. B. Wikipedia C. Folklores D. Blogs Did you answer letter A? Excellent! Review of literature Number 3 Which of the following is the most common form of the research title? Again, which of the following is the most common form of the research title? A. Interrogative B. Declarative C. Question form D. Phrase If you choose letter B, correct! Declarative Number 4. It is a part of the research that expresses the context of the problem that will support the validity and rationale of the study. 
Again, it is a part of the research that expresses the context of the problem that will support the validity and rationale of the study. A. Research title B. Research topic C. Background of the study D. Research problem Did you answer letter C? You are correct! Background of the study Number 5 Which of the following statements is not true about the background of the research? Again, which of the following statements is not true about the background of the research? A. It elaborates in the findings or information from the literature cited. B. It explains how the research question was derived. C. It justifies the need to conduct the study. D. It establishes the research gap. If you answer letter A, perfect! It elaborates in the findings or information from the literature cited. Great! You got it all right! That means you are now ready for a new lesson. Let us all proceed in designing a quantitative research topic. Choosing a topic must undergo proper and thorough planning and designing. In designing your quantitative research, the very first step is to choose a broad topic which will be useful in your daily life. There are many things to consider in choosing a topic. First, choose the one that interests you. You have to consider whether the topic that you have chosen is relevant to you as a learner, as a constituent in your barangay, and as a citizen of this country. Second, select a significant topic which is worth researching, able to answer or solve problems in the community. Third, choose a topic relevant to your field. Choosing a topic that you can relate will certainly make your research project less challenging. In addition to this, you also have to master the skill in finding the right quantitative research topic because not all the topics that interest you are easy to write. So, make sure it has enough research material. Second step is do a preliminary research. Once you have chosen a broad topic, you need to have a better understanding of it by reading some more articles, journals, and related research studies. Third step is define the problem. Narrow down broad topic into feasible and manageable research questions that can be developed by doing a comparative study or expanding the scope of the study. Fourth and last step is refine the question. Evaluate the questions formulated. At this moment, let us do an activity. Do you already have a broad research topic in mind that is related to your track and field of interest? If yes, you may now follow the steps learned in designing a quantitative research project. Write it down in your study notebook. At this point, you may already have an interesting or relevant quantitative research topic that is related to your chosen track. The next step is for you to have a suitable and captivating title for the research study in mind. How is it done? Writing a research title is one of the challenges that you have to undergo in writing your research paper. 
So what is a research title? A research study title is a concise description of the content of the research study, containing the fewest words, yet adequate to describe the contents of the research paper. In formulating the research title, make sure that it must clearly reflect the topic of investigation and it must be original, clear, concise, and specific. The following are the basic guidelines in making a research study. Please read through these guidelines and you will know how to make a good title for your quantitative study. Number one, use an accurate description of the subject and scope of the study instead of using general terms. Number two, do not use abbreviations except for commonly known ones like DNA and ICT. Number three, do not include words like the study of, analysis of, and investigation of, or similar construction as this would only lengthen the title. Number four, Include the main dependent and independent variables. Number five, be mindful of the proper use of grammar and punctuation. Number six, capitalize all noun, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, as well as the first letter of the first and last words. Number seven, state in declarative form. Although you may also see titles and question from time to time. Number eight, the year of the study has been conducted should not be indicated unless it is a historical study. Number nine, use current terminology. Number 10, depending on the institutional requirements, 5 to 15 words are sufficient to describe the research study. Number 11, use the common name instead of chemical formula. Number 12, write and italicize the full scientific names. And number 13, must reflect the tone of the paper. An academic research paper has title which is not casual or informal or does not contain humor. You may also follow the following steps in writing the research title. Step 1. Determine what is that you wish to accomplish or know from your study. Step 2. Include important keywords and variables. Step 3. Shorten the title by eliminating the unnecessary words. Step 4. Correct grammar and punctuation errors if there is any. Step 5. Observe proper formatting. See the example research title below and let us evaluate for errors. What have you observed? Absolutely! The scientific name was abbreviated and not italicized. Now, let's have a practice. Are you ready? Yay! If so, get your study notebook and pen and try to construct a research title by following the steps learned. Once you have finalized your research title, let us start preparing the background or introduction of the research study. So what is the background of the study all about? The background of the study for a research study includes a review of the area being researched, current information surrounding the issue, previous studies on the issue, and relevant history on the issue. 
The following are the ways on how to describe the background of the research. After this episode, in your study notebook, let's expand the research topic and title you did in the previous activities by composing a one to two page background of the study. Since you've already learned how to design research that is interesting and something that you are passionate about, you are now ready to formulate your research questions. Identification of the research problems and types of quantitative research questions will be explained in this lesson. Then, what is a research question? The research questions help to clarify and specify the research problem. It specifies the method of collecting and analyzing data and the type of data to be collected. Once you already have enumerated your research question for your study, it is important that you consider its quality to answer and explain your research problem. According to Frankel and Wallen 2020, a good research question must have the following characteristics. Feasible Clear Significant and ethical. Let us learn together the steps in developing a research question. Please read the steps below. Easy, right? So, what are you waiting for? As you have learned from this lesson, you may now start listing your research questions in your study notebook. Now, to check what have you learned let us answer the following questions for your assessment. Are you ready? Yay! Direction. Get your study notebook and pen. Write true if the statement is correct and false if it is incorrect. Number one. Inserting humor on the research title makes it more interesting to the reader. Again, inserting humor on the research title makes it more interesting to the reader. The correct answer is false. Number two, only the first letter of nouns and pronouns are capitalized. Again, only the first letter of the nouns and pronouns are capitalized. The correct answer is false. Number three. A good research question must be feasible, clear, significant, and ethical. Again, a good research question must be feasible, clear, significant, and ethical. The correct answer is true. Number four, abbreviations are a must to make the research title shorter. Again, Abbreviations are a must to make the research title shorter. The answer is false. Number five. Background of the study is the part of the research that expresses the context of the problem that will support the validity and rationale of the study. Again, Background of the study is the part of the research that expresses the context of the problem that will support the validity and rationale of the study. The correct answer is true. You got it all perfect! Congratulations for what you have learned today! 
I hope that through this episode, you will experience meaningful learning and deep understanding. Believe me, you can do it. Once again, I am RG Joy Marie Henelsa Ampol from Gabi National High School, Compostela West District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!